I'm Ashley Swartz, CEO and founder of Furious Minds. Great to see you. Questions, comments on today's segment or any other ones, please email me at ashley at furious-minds.com. So I want to talk today, this week, uh, we had a couple announcements and some product releases specifically from Apple and Microsoft. Um, the Surface with Windows 8 is available now and uh, the iPad mini was announced, I believe, to be shipped on November 2nd or November 3rd. And I want to talk about that and the impact that it has sort of for the industry, online advertising, what it means. Um, let's talk about the Surface because I think that's going to be a short story, right? We've talked, you know, Windows 8 was released last year or this year earlier rather at CES got a lot of hype. We've seen the Metro user interface style uh, work on the 360. It's pretty sticky, it's a good GUI. And you know the reality is people are excited about it. We seem to have a split audience though, right? And the question is, are legacy OS's relevant anymore? Um, we've got individuals that are bullish, sort of, and the commentary I've seen, it's used to more young millennials, tech savvy individuals with multi-screen devices that are consuming lots of, of rich media and sort of video content, seem to be bullish about Metro and its style and the window, new Windows 8 version. Those that are die-hard Windows users, maybe older, sort of not as early adopters, you know, it's getting mixed em uh, um, emotions or, or reviews. And at the end of the day, the Surface kind of came out. It was like, eh, eh, wasn't a lot of excitement around it. And I think Apple specifically timed their release of the iPad Mini, obviously, to trump them as much as they could. So let's talk about the iPad Mini. Awesome, another announcement from uh, Apple. It's another product variant, another SKU, and it's just a different size. Well, let's dig a little bit deeper. If you remember when we talked about the Kindle Fire and we talked about the fact that now vid um, video and long form content on the Kindle Fire has an x-ray feature which allows you to dive in, which is basically contextual tagging, which allows down the stream for in-video advertising. Uh, and that was kind of notable and under the radar. I think there's a lot to talk about when it comes to the iPad Mini. And I need to credit a lot of the stimulus for my thoughts this week from a Forbes article that I read. I believe it was from yesterday. Um, you know, Apple really focused on education, but the reality is that someone at some point in this tablet ecosystem needs to focus on advertising. And I think that perhaps the iPad mini is a recognition that this is, they need to make a move to actually be able to drive incremental revenue streams from the tablet beyond their iTunes ecosystem and the sell, sale of apps. So I think the big story really for the tablet uh, and the iPad mini is advertising. Um, and the question is, will the iPad mini be what turns the tables for Apple? And let me sort of get into that and why I think that's a problem. Mobile has, you know, there was an art, the cover of that age about four weeks ago, I think, the, the title was uh, TV Dollars to Digital Dimes, which is an old quip we've heard, and then it said, you know, compared to mobile pennies. The reality is mo it's been the year of mobile for 10 years. It's days been coming. The CPMs are still 5 to 10 percent of that display advertising, and nobody can seem to figure out. Now that telco uh, carrier tariffs are no longer an all-you-can-eat data consumption plan, and they've gone to sort of a per gigabyte basis or megabyte basis, video advertising has yet to actually take off um, on tablets. And the reality is that the location and the personal attributes of mobile have it sort of positioned that it potentially could be this great last bastion of digital advertising or the next bastion of, of digital rather, but at the end of the day it's still in crisis. Um, what we do know is that iAds went over like a fart in church, if we're really candid. Apple tried to build an ad ecosystem and it didn't work. It was their sort of control, their forcible creative assertion, um, a lot of other things, it just failed miserably. They need to figure out how to generate revenue from their platforms if they're going to be able to compete with competitors, specifically Amazon, because they built that platform from the ground up. It's affordable and the iPad mini, as well as Surface, are still at incredibly high cost price points. Despite the smaller size, there's not as much of a price differential from the original iPad there was some interesting research that was just released um, by Velti, which was coupled with sort of this idea that we've seen that rich media works, right? iPad released the mini, which is more of a media consumption focused device. We kind of knew that tablets are media consumption, not unless about productivity. The smaller tablet is really focused just on distributing media. The research by Vel Velti showed that the click through rates on tablets are two times that of smartphones. And when you dig a little bit deeper actually into tablets themselves, screen size is an, a variable that drives it. So uh, if you look at the Kindle specifically, they experience, which is a 7-inch screen, the Kindle Fire, um, they have a 3.34% click-through rate on rich media ad units, whereas the tablet and the iPad 3 have a 2.4% and 1.3% respectively. So there's a sweet spot of about 7 inches, which is right around where the iPad mini falls, that actually we see a much higher engagement level, which means much higher value for rich media ads on the um, on the tablets. So the question is, you know, this sort of full, you know, full deployment of an ecosystem of devices with iCloud and the, the attempt by Apple to build this ecosystem, which Google was doing the same but open source, 
will they be able to crack that nut, right? As users move and flow from screen to screen and, and media consumption is more about multi-screen, that creates a great challenge for advertisers. If Apple is able to win and dominate the tablet ecosystem, it means that creative and rich media advertising will be optimized for their screens. Even though we have responsive capabilities from a, a development perspective, the reality is that the advertising ecosystem will standardize and optimize around where the plurality of install base and users, users are. And at the end of the day, Apple is, is looking to win that. And that it could be a game changer for a lot of folks in regards to the potential revenue to be had for advertising on tablets. Um, you know, I think, at the end of the day, the screen shifting paradigm and the attempt, and we even saw Samsung at CES, you know, sort of trying and LG, these the OEMs trying to deploy this kind of ecosystem value proposition where there's value added services that are free when you buy into a platform in lieu of buying products. If in fact anybody hits, and we Apple is the closest to have done so, we're going to see a tipping point where uh, media and advertising investment will tend to cluster around one platform. And in some respects, that's sort of scary, especially given the price disparity across these platforms. And if the economy continues to be what it is, we may see a sort of change of course. Whereas right now, we have this interesting anomaly that people are spending a more than larger uh, percentage of their disposable income on uh, consumer electronics, despite the fact that large you know, luxury goods or other consumables are down. The reality is that people are spending on technology, but that will hit a stopping point and growth will slow, which is what we saw with Facebook and other mediums and other sort of usage channels. When that happens, what does that mean for Apple and what does that mean for advertisers? Um, I welcome your comments, your feedback. Ashley at furious-minds.com. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.